gonna have a quick look at the Pi 4L glue case. Um, it's made by a guy called Kev C9, if you search on there. Um, I have put a makeup on, which um, you can see some of the pictures that are in this video. Uh, absolute overkill. It's got an S2 Pi heatsink um, attached to the Raspberry Pi 4. It's in the front, you've got a not sure 60x60x20 by 60 by fan, I believe. Easy access to the ports. Um, it'd be nice to redesign one that's possibly got like a window on the side. So what I'll do, I'll pull this apart really quickly. We'll have a little look. Um, I'll put it back together again and I'll plug it in just to show you the fans um, that I'll work with. A side note, both fans run off the 5 volt pins um, that come off the Raspberry Pi 4's GPIO. So I'm going to pull the first section off, which is the one that gives you access to the ports. As you can see, this section is cut out, and that fits perfectly in here. Inside, you've got the S2 Pi, uh, which is a little heat sink you can get off Amazon. Um, works really, really well. Uh, the Pi 4, without any sort of cooling, gets really hot. So I'm going to continue with taking this apart, and we'll show you how many pieces, um, and then we'll put it back together. show you the fans running. One thing I just want to quickly show you whilst I'm here, um, to make this fit, I did have to actually cut these um, posts down. So these are the stock pegs that come up um, with the uh, S2 poly. Um, as you'll note on here, there's a little piece that comes at the top, and here I've had to trim it using a Dremel. Um, that was the only way to actually get the fan to fit in place. Um, that is something that's worth noting unless you do have some short posts. We've got the case basically put back together. As you can see, it is a bit fiddly. So we're going to get it quickly powered up. Um, I'm just going to use this. Uh, it's just an external battery. We've got a USB-C cable plugged in, um, and then we'll plug it into here. There's no SD card in here at the moment, so I can plug it in and unplug it. It's not going to cause any issues. Then you. When you've got the side piece on here, if you feel the actual pull or the, you know, the, the throughput of air, it's actually quite a lot that you feel coming out the back, so this is obviously doing quite a decent job. So that's it really, um, that's all what I can really show. Um, I've put in the description um, links to the Thingiverse objects, including the make that I've done. Uh, if you have any questions, just pop them in the comment section uh, and I'll see if I can answer them for you. Thank you for watching, cheers.